All right, guys. Talked earlier. Got the video uploading now. Now I'm working. Uh, got the the compressors right there. It's uh, the holes are drilled. The bolts are through it. I don't have the nuts on right now because I keep having to take it in and out. So I just didn't want to. Which makes me realize I just knocked all the nuts off my. Yep. That'll work. Let's deal with that in a minute here. Anyway, so out of the motor end, I guess this would be called, is the port, the intake port. So what I did was I drilled the hole, kept going, kind of boogered it up because I forgot to hold a piece of wood on the other side. I got it to a 5 8 bit. It's the biggest bit I have. So the rest, I used a, a file. What I did was, that'll fit in there. So I filed the hole big enough to fit the socket that I got to use to tighten the tighten that fitting. So there you go. That fitting will come out for my uh, my air intake for this for the filter and everything. So we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do there. I don't know if I'm going to attach a hose to it and put it somewhere else, or if I'm just going to. Uh, put the filter on here and then maybe just bend up a little a little awning for it if you'll call it that or cover whatever you want to call it just so when it rains it's not sucking a bunch of water in this will be at the back of the bed or the front of the bed at the back of the truck so not a whole lot of water is going to get in there anyway so anyway it's just an idea that's for the future so that's done. One more thing I could cross off the list that I have to fabricate for this. So next I think I'm going to either work on the wiring or build a plate for this. This is my hole for my... You know what? I just looking at that I remember I got some hole saws over there I could have used for this. I forgot I had them. Oh well. No big deal. It's done. So for that I'm going to build a little plate that will go on the inside on the back side there for my uh, for the bolts just because it's a little it's a little thin here when I'm pulling that plug in and out so I don't want to bend it or rip anything or anything like that so I'm gonna build just a little fish plate whatever you want to call it I'm not gonna weld it on I'll just be bolted with the bolts it'll be through bolted so I mentioned in a comment but see if I could show you yeah there you go you can see the drain in there this does have a drain I have to drill a hole in the bottom so I could access it or uh, run a hose or something. But there is a drain in that, so I got that planned. All right, guys. Yep, back. She's empty again. I went and uh, cleaned up all the holes with the with the grinder, so I don't so I quit snagging stuff. Um. Anyway, yeah, there's all my nuts and bolts and everything. I'm gonna figure these out now. If you guys saw my earlier video, how bad this hole was hacked up because of the drill bit. I got her cleaned up pretty nice now. Uh, I just used mainly those two files right there. This round one and this guy that's a, uh, you see it? Yeah, half round. Just kept working it until it looks better. I took all the rough edges off. Um, there's like three or four dents up here that I took a little, little hammer dolly action to them so we're gonna figure out the the new wiring now I'm gonna work on that and uh, see what we come up with there you want to hit it off your front shoulder there you go run Gave them some of those things you throw on the ground and they pop. And Katie's cleaning up the mess. She has been for a while. Making different color spaghettis in here, I think. Um, so here's, after many trial and errors and mock-ups, I think that's gonna go right here. And then the 
relay will go right here. And then at this end of my air tank is going to be my pressure switch. So the wires will go from here to there. And then I'll have a couple wires that will come across the bottom of it like this up to there. I think it's going to work. Yeah, so I'm going to drill some holes see what we got. It's getting close to dinner time here. Um, daughter already went in and washed her hands. She's been out here helping me. Working the heat gun on the street heat shrink tubing for me so here's what we came up with I need to get uh, they make T's for this convoluted tubing or split loom tubing whatever you want to call it need a couple of those uh, one for right here they work really slick so I'm gonna put one right here and then put a couple clamps down there it goes up I have all my wires in here got my fuse box mounted I got plenty of clearance there this isn't gonna move so plenty of clearance there We'll wrap these right here in uh, probably some uh, friction tape. I thought about doing the whole thing in friction tape, but the only problem with that, if you gotta troubleshoot something or fix something, it just doesn't work real well. And since I have four wires coming out of here to control my solenoids, I just don't think it's a good idea. So we'll stick with this this split loom tubing. But uh, I think I said it. We'll put a couple clamps down there. I gotta put a a bolt in for my ground for my compressor. And then I gotta ground that relay right there. So I gotta make a little longer wire for that. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna skip the idea of a fan on here. I don't think I'll need one because I don't think this seal's good enough, but we're gonna skip it for now. If I do end up needing one, it'll fit right here. So we're just gonna leave that out for now and then we're gonna come back to it. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to reverse these so they face out and then I'm going to get some of those acorn nuts to cover them and uh, probably paint those up. I think that's what I'm going to do. It is a hundred times easier to run these bolts this way than it is that way. And with all of these that I have to do, it's just, it's a lot easier to come the other way. I can get in there and get my grounds in properly for my solenoids with these and then put my belt, my bolts on there. So anyway, that may be it for tonight. I don't know, may come out here for a little bit after dinner when my, uh, when my youngest and my wife goes to her dance, uh, dance class. So we'll see. Anyway, um, you guys all be good if I don't talk to you later. Have a good week, uh, happy Monday. I think it's Monday, yeah, it's Monday. So uh, you guys all have a good one and I uh, will talk to you later.